Hey there, this is Kamal, and in this video, we're going to see how we can integrate Google Ads into your WordPress website. So, let's get this started. Alright, so first things first, if you have no idea what WordPress is and how to get started with it, I've already done a crash course on that. I'll link that video in the description down below. You can go there and check that out. And once you're done with that, then you can carry on from here. So in simple terms, WordPress is a content management system. So essentially what it means is that using WordPress, you can create websites on the fly using the drag and drop interface that they provide. And in order to make this happen, you need to install WordPress on a server. There are multiple hosting providers out there which you can choose from. And specifically for this video, I'll be using a hosting service called as Bluehost. And the reason why that I'm using this is because Bluehost is actually one of the topmost WordPress providers recommended by WordPress.org. So since they are recommended, their interface is much more tweaked towards WordPress and it's easy for you to get started if you're a beginner. So with that out of the way, let's get this started. All right, so in order to get started with Google Ads, you have to first create an account in Google AdSense. So let's open a new tab and type in Google AdSense. Open the first link and click on get started. So here you have to type in the URL of your website. You have to provide your email address. And then you can check this if you want to get some suggestions based on Google Ads. So I'll check that and click on save and continue. Once that is done, you can select your country. Then you have to read the terms and conditions and click on yes, I've read that and click on create account. All right, so once that is done, you have to fill in your payment details. So you have to do that. And since I already done that, mine is not visible. But if you're opening this for the first time, you'll have a form where you have to fill in all the details. Then you can do that and you can click on submit and that will be done. So once you submit that, you'll be provided with a script tag, which you have to actually include in your WordPress website. So there are multiple ways in which you can actually include this. The first way is to actually take this code and place it in the head tag of your WordPress code but that gets quite tedious. And if you have no programming knowledge, then you might get intimidated with that as well. And it's also not good practice to actually edit the code itself because you might make some errors and that might actually break the whole website. So instead, you can actually do one more thing. You can actually go to the WordPress installation and in the plugin section, you have to actually install a plugin which is provided by Google itself. So let's click on add new and let's search for SiteKit by Google. So this is the plugin, so you can install this then click on activate. Once that is done, you'll have an option called as SiteKit on your left sidebar. So click on that, then click on sign in with Google and then you have to sign into your Google account. So click on sign in with Google, then open the account with which you have logged in and click on allow for everything else. Click on allow once again, then click on proceed. So once you're verified as the owner of your particular website, then you'll have to give access to your Google account. So click on allow. And if you want, you can set up a search console as well. So I'll click on add site and that will be added to my search console. Then once you're done with that, you can go to your dashboard. All right, so this is your dashboard. And in here, as you can see, you have some services with which you can connect if you want. So you can connect the Google AdSense account and you can also connect the Google Analytics as well. So for now, let's click on connect for the AdSense. Then choose the account with which you have logged in. All right, so once that is done, it's gonna show you that your account is getting ready. And this usually takes less than a day, but sometimes it might take a bit longer. So you have to wait while this happens in the background. So for now, you can click on this to go to your AdSense account and check your status. So in here, let's start the website. So let's start with marketcode.tech. So let's save and continue. All right, so I've requested for the review and my site is getting ready to show ads. So let's go back to this particular page where we actually have the code. So I'll click on I've pasted this code into my site and click on done. So as you can see, the code was found. So once that is done as well, it's going to take some time to actually review your website. And it seems that it's going to take up to two weeks in some cases. So, so once that is done, you'll be receiving a mail saying that everything is done. And then you can start using your AdSense account. In the meantime, we can actually open the ads and we can actually see what are the ads that we can actually integrate into our own website. So let's go to that section and let's click on this, get started. So as you can see here, we have an option called as auto ads. So if you enable this, then automatically Google will add ads onto your website and that might be good for your website or not. That depends completely on your preference, but I prefer to keep it off and I prefer to add the ads manually by myself. 
So for that, you can actually go to buy ads unit and in this, there are three types of ads that you can choose from. The first one is display ads, which can be actually placed anywhere in the website. The second one is in feed ads, which are customized so that they are placed in between posts or lists of posts and something like that. And the third one is in article ads, which are actually mainly useful if you want to create an ad inside the article itself, that is a blog post or any particular content. Okay. So you can use these three types of ads. And if you have no idea what type of ad to use, then you can just go with display ads, which is the recommended option. So let's say I want to go with this. So I'm going to open this and this is the kind of ad that's going to show. So let's say I want to include this in the sidebar of my website. So I'll type in sidebar, then I'll leave it as responsive so that it's going to be adjusted when the size of the screen changes. Then let's click on create. Okay. So now you're presented with a script, which includes the code for your ad. So you can copy the snippet and then go to appearance and click on widgets in the appearance section. So this is my main sidebar. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take the custom HTML component that I have here and I'm going to place that inside the section here. Let's do that here. Yeah. And in this, let's paste the code that we've just copied and click on save. So once you're done that, your ad will be shown in the sidebar. So in this way, you can actually add Google ads wherever you want in your website. And if you're using any of the page builders like Elementor, then you can directly go to the post section and in that you can open a post. And even if you're using the default WordPress editor, you can just go to the blog section and search for custom HTML. And you can just drag and drop that here and add the code that you've just copied. And that particular ad will be added in between the post as well. And if you want, you can edit that with Elementor as well. And inside Elementor, you can search for HTML and you can just drag and drop that into here and you can paste the code that you've just copied. And then that particular ad be shown in this particular position. So this is actually not showing right now. That is because my account has yet to be reviewed. And once that is done, the ads will become active and that will be shown across the website. So in this way, you can actually implement the ads into your particular WordPress website wherever you want. So if that is tedious for you and you don't want to manually do that, there are multiple ways to make this automated. The first way is to actually let Google decide where it's going to place the ads. The second way is where you can actually have some control over it. So for this, you have to go back to your WordPress installation. So let's go back to the dashboard in here. Click on plugins and we're going to install a new plugin. And in here, let's search for auto ads. So there are multiple plugins that you can choose from. One of the popular ones is advanced ads. And the second one is WP quads. You can go with any of these. Both of them are good. For now, let's install this and then click on activate. Once that is activated, click on WP quads. And in here, you can create a new ad. So let's click on that. And since we're trying to create a Google AdSense ad, we can actually click on this. Or if you want to go with any other platform, then you can go with that. Or if you have a particular website, which is not listed here, then you can go with custom code and add that as well. So for now, let's click on Google AdSense and then you have to select the ad which you want to use. And as for the data client ID and the data slot ID, you can go here. And as you can see here, we have the client ID. So copy that and paste it here. Similarly, you can copy the slot ID as well. So copy that and paste it in here. And if you want, you can give it a fixed size. I'll leave it as responsive and you can select the alignment and you can give a margin and you can give an ad label as well. For now, let's click on next. And then you have to select the place where this particular ad is going to show. So you can go with the beginning of the post, middle and or right after the more tag, which is the read more that you generally have inside a blog post or after the last paragraph and so on and so forth. So you can do that as well, or you can actually create a short code which you can embed as well. For now, let's click on beginning of the post and then you can actually include this or exclude this on a particular post or a particular page. Okay. Once you're done with that, you can click on publish. Once that is done, your ad is live and you can return to your dashboard. So right now this ad is active and it has been added to the beginning of each and every post that I have inside my website. So in this way, you can actually integrate Google ads onto your own WordPress installation. And as you're seeing, there are multiple ways to do this. And the most easiest option is to actually use an auto ad placer, which is going to actually add the ad to each and every post or wherever you're specified. But if you want, you can go with the manual option as well and add the ads manually as that gives you more control and it's not going to make your website look spammy. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you have liked what you've seen till now. If you did, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.